welcome everybody. I'd like to welcome everyone to our inaugural celebration of excellence in education. It is a great opportunity to celebrate the wonderful things that are going on in Onslow County Schools. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to be speaking to this larger group of people and not be talking about COVID. It is amazing to have that happen. So we are, uh, we are excited for the reason that we've gathered today. And we have a lot of things that we want to celebrate, a lot of great things that are happening in our school system. And but before we get in too far to our celebration, I would like to ask, as you are able, to please stand for the presentation of our colors by the Northside High School Air, Air Force JROTC. And then please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. We have some special guests that we'd like to recognize this evening that have been able to join us. So from our Onslow County Board of Education, we are joined tonight by our chairman, Mr. Bob Williams, and board member, Mr. Joe Speranza. And I believe they're down here in the front. From our Onslow County Board of Commissioners, we're joined by Vice Chairman Tim Foster, <laughs> Commissioner Royce Bennett, and Commissioner Mark Price. And from our Onslow County Executive Staff, we have Superintendent Barry Collins, our Deputy Superintendent Dr. Beth Folger, our Chief of Human Resources and Student Services, Dr. C.J. Karenik. Our Chief of Operations, Mr. Steve Myers. Everybody's favorite, Chief Financial Officer, Jeff Holloman. And our Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Jeff Pittman. So now I'd like to welcome to the stage our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Beth Folger, who's going to share a few remarks, and then she will welcome up Dr. Collins. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank you for all gathering here and making this event a huge success. While this is a fun and high energy celebration, it's also important for us to reflect on what brought us together today, which is an opportunity to lift up our Onslow County Schools educators, our employees who get up each day knowing they will have challenges and knowing they will have opportunities in front of them. Today, we lift our teachers and our principals who leave their families and children in the morning to come and take care of yours and mine. Our colleagues who in one day fill the role of teacher, nurse, counselor, parent, friend, social worker, tutor, custodian, lesson designer, test administrator, data analysis, technology tech, mission, and so much more. So we are here today to publicly and without reservation say thank you and to show our appreciation to all and to specially honor those who have been nominated as outstanding educators by their peers. So raise your clappers and let's hear it for all the educators and all of our honorees in the room.
Every one of you deserve it. Now, these types of events don't happen by themselves, and it takes the effort of many people, and it's important that they hear a thank you and are acknowledged for their contributions. So first, please join me in thanking our business partners, Amplify and Curriculum Associates, for fully sponsoring this event. I also want to thank our Board of Education and executive staff for their support of this event and their deep-rooted belief that our employees are the heartbeat of our organization. And I would like to thank Mrs. Cassidy, and the White Oak High School administrators, staff, and custodial staff for taking an extra responsibility at such a crazy busy time of the year and willingly hosting this event. Thank you to the White Oak Marshals for volunteering to assist with guest services and other duties. And thank you to the White Oak High School Senior Choir and the director, Ms. Goodson Spear, for volunteering to perform. Thank you to Dr. Zada Bazzi and the Junk Jammers from Queens Creek Elementary who acted as our paparazzi on the red carpet and who will also be performing during the program. And a great big thank you to Community Affairs and the Superintendent's Office for partnering with Instructional Services to bring this event to life. From program and stage design to script writing, photography, and so, so much more. And finally, to the Instructional Services team, I deeply ap appreciate your insistence that we honor our educators in a grand manner, which resulted in this excellence in education red carpet event. Thank you for your hard work over the past few months and definitely past few weeks. Look, look around you, look what you have accomplished. I knew it would all come together when you said, all of us together can make a lot happen in a short amount of time. Thank you for sharing and for owning the vision. Now, the show must go on. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our superintendent, Dr. Barry Collins to the stage. Clappers in the air. Anyway, had other great teachers, 
coming along, I had uh, Annabelle Humphrey, Martha Maddox, and we're talking about old school. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You did not mess around in Martha Maddox's class. <laughs> uh, but she taught me something. She taught me how to write a paper and to cite my references, and I'll never forget it. Left Silver Dale, went over to Tabernacle. We'll find it no more Tabernacle. <laughs> yeah, Tabernacle. All the primary form was not there anymore. They tore down and so quiet in high school when my dad graduated. And great staff there, I'll give you some names. Uh, Tom McGurk was one, uh, Bill Cito was another. Cleo Croon, if you remember her, Judy Copeland, some outstanding educators, people that influenced me along the way. And then I ended up here in the great halls of White Oak High School. Graduated in 1984. Again, great people. Uh, we had some really, really good teachers here. Pat Long, Ms. Short, Ms. Ringo, Mr. Marshall. And we can't forget the exec the staff that was here up in the front office, Carolyn Jim. What a Jim Miss Jim was. She was a great lady. I say all this to say that these folks along the way, and oh, Ken Reddick. Can't leave out Ken Reddick. He's not here. <laughs> well, he's one of our board members, great, great guy, a big influence on my life. So I wanted to say all this to tell you that you influence people every day. We have over 27,000 kids every year that kind of walk all the halls here in Oslo County in our 42 schools. And you make a difference in their life. And you just don't know the impact that you make. And I want to say thank you. One more for Dr. Collins. There we go. Let's get to recognizing some people here for some, some accomplishments that they have done. I'd like you to welcome to the stage Director of Human Resources and Professional Development, Dr. Tara Patterson, to assist in presenting our first set of awards for the Beginning Teacher of the Year, Mentor Teacher of the Year, and the Gladys Stafford Award. The Beginning Teacher of the Year Award is presented annually to an outstanding first year elementary, middle, or high school teacher. School leaders nominate individuals for Beginning Teacher of the Year and finalists are selected based on a variety of criteria including performance in teacher leadership, interaction with students, facilitation of learning and content knowledge, interaction within the educational environment, and distinguishing characteristics. Like the other Teachers of the Year, final selection of our beginning Teacher of the Year is made following an interview and a classroom observation. The 2022-2023 OCS Beginning Teacher of the Year comes to us from Coastal Elementary, and we'd like to ask Marissa Greenfield to come on down. Now, as part of her nomination, Ms. Greenfield was recognized for creating a classroom culture that empowers students to collaborate. She was lauded for developing an inviting, respectful, inclusive, flexible, and supportive learning environment which allows her students to thrive. She was noted as being a reflective educator who constantly looks for ways to make content relevant for students so they can build real-world connections to their learning. So congratulations, Ms. Greenfield. Now each year, school leaders or beginning teachers may nominate mentor teachers for consideration as the district mentor of the year. Our district winners are selected based upon their effectiveness in supporting beginning teachers in the following categories. Demonstrating leadership, establishing a respectful environment, knowing appropriate content, 
facilitating learning and reflecting on practice. I'd like to welcome to the stage now Northwoods Park Media Coordinator, Heather Shannon, who's been selected as the OCS Mentor Teacher of the Year. There she is. Now she's making her way down, I can say that encouraging, passionate, kind, and always willing to help are just a few of the ways Mrs. Shannon was described in her nomination for Mentor of the Year. In addition to running the Northwoods Park Media Center, Heather serves as mentor to three beginning teachers and is an unofficial mentor to many others. A colleague wrote that Mrs. Shannon provides relevant and meaningful feedback to her mentees to ensure they continue to grow and succeed in the classroom. One of her mentees added, she is the kind of person who naturally gives encouragement, ideas, and solutions to problems. Another summed up their assessment of Mrs. Shannon by saying, as a young teacher myself, I admire Mrs. Shannon for many reasons but mainly in how she remains consistently positive in the face of difficulty in our profession. Congratulations, Mrs. Shannon. Gladys H. Stafford served as a school secretary here in Onslow County. The award which bears her name recognizing, recognizes outstanding secretarial service and is presented to a school-based office support person who has exceeded all expectations in work performance. Mrs. Stafford's family presents the award annually to pay tribute to her and others like her. The individual selected for this award consistently interacts with others in a positive manner demonstrates initiative and creativity in solving problems, accepts new challenges, and demonstrates a desire to improve work performance as a lifelong learner. We'd like to welcome to the stage now from Swansboro Elementary School, Treasurer Sue Ellen Dixon, who is the recipient of this year's Gladys H. Stafford Award. Mrs. Dixon has been with Onslow County Schools for 16 years, with 14 of these as Secretary Treasurer at Swansboro Elementary. In her nomination, Mrs. Dixon's colleagues praised her for her willingness to go above and beyond the requirements of a school secretary. She has been seen tending to students' needs, which are clearly not related to financial procedures. This has included overseeing student timeout sessions, assisting with award ceremonies, organizing and leading school spirit initiatives, and she has even been known, according to one of her colleagues, to bake a mean potato for staff appreciation luncheons. <laughs> In addition to her school-based leadership, Mrs. Dixon has established herself as a leader among her financial colleagues. She has completed the NC ASBO School Treasurer Academy and in the past served as the president and vice president of the Onslow County Association of Educational Office Professionals and was the organization's 2019-2020 Educational Office Professional of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Dixon. We're going to move into another set of recognitions, and I'd like to have you join me in welcoming Dr. Barry Collins, our superintendent, our deputy superintendent, Dr. Beth Folger, our board chairman, Mr. Bob Williams, and board member, Mr. Joseph Speranza, to the stage to assist in recognizing our 2022-2023 OCS Assistant Principal of the Year finalists and the naming our, our naming our 2022-2023 Assistant Principal of the Year. As they're making their way up, um, I think the common phrase that I always heard when I got a job as an assistant principal, that that entailed pretty much books, butts, and buses. That was the things that we were expected to deal with as an AP, and I dealt with all of those as an assistant. Uh, but know that the job is much more than just dealing with those areas. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot of relationship building that you do with staff, with your administrative team, and it takes a very good and a very strong assistant to help get things done in a school. So we are proud to announce our three finalists for AP of the Year. Our first AP of the Year finalist is Courtney Moffitt, who serves at Richlands Elementary School. So come on down, Courtney, as I'm reading about you.
In her four years as an assistant principal, Courtney has built a reputation as a dynamic leader who encourages the best from her staff and students. She is described by the teachers in her building as someone who leads by example and keeps the well-being of the whole child in mind every day. Principal Laurie Strope said Ms. Moffitt was integral in helping Richlands Elementary transition to a new building in 2018 and has been a tremendous asset in helping to build the current culture of their building to one of cooperation, collaboration, and consistency. Our second AP of the Year finalist is Jenna Johnson. So Jenna, come on down. Mrs. Johnson is a fourth or four-year assistant principal who currently serves at Dixon Elementary School. DES principal Tia Boris said that she finds Ms. Johnson to be innovative, dedicated, energetic, professional, and highly organized. Staff at her school say she is always willing to help, diving in to cover the front desk, mop floors, meet with families, or anything else that we need that will benefit the school community. In Ms. Johnson, teachers know they have an advocate and a leader who puts student well-being and achievement at the center of all she does. Our third AP, year of, uh, AP of the Year finalist, that is a mouthful for some reason, I just cannot get it out this afternoon, comes to us from Richlands High School and is Mr. Cameron Custy. So come on down, Cameron. In his four years at Richlands High, parents and staff say Cameron has gone above and beyond to build positive relationships encourage, and encourage students to be their best. Through his work with AVID, Advanced Placement, Programming for At-Risk Students, and more, those around Mr. Custy said that his leadership is felt by everyone at Richlands High. Richlands High School Principal Brad Staley said he is confident Cameron's positive influence and servant leadership will be to the benefit of many students for years to come. So congratulations to all three of our finalists for AP of the Year. And we are proud to announce that the 2022-2023 Onslow County Schools Assistant Principal of the Year is Courtney Moffitt. Congratulations, Courtney. Now, today is not all about recognitions. This is a big part of what we do. But we also are going to have an opportunity to see some of the handiwork that some of our colleagues have done with their kids. And at this time, we would like to welcome to the stage the Junk Jammers from Queens Creek Elementary. And as they make their way on stage, they are under the direction of Dr. Zada Bazzi.
Wow, was that not amazing? I'm going to get some more applause for our kids. That was awesome. Okay, we were watching them uh, get ready prior to opening the doors for the show this afternoon and watching them rehearse. The two guys in the back back here with the long sticks, I was so afraid that they were going to end up hitting each other. But they did it. They did a wonderful job, Dr. Bazzi. God, great, great job. Great job. Now we're going to move into a recognition of some of our educators and administrators of the year that are being recognized in specific categories as we go through. So I'd like to at this time ask those who are honorees that are receiving that, if you would go ahead and kind of make your way over to that side of the auditorium so you're in place as we get you moving up through this section. So just come on over here. We're going to call you up individually for the awards and have you uh, receive those up here on the stage, but that'll kind of get you positioned as to where we go. We've got a uh, a large number of people that we're going to be recognizing during this section, both uh, teachers in the classroom and administrators. And they represent a range of disciplines across the instructional spectrum. This group of educators and administrators have been selected as the best of the best in each of their respective categories. When each category is announced, we would ask the recipients to come over to, come up uh, the stairs over here to my left, and come on up stage um, when your name is called to receive your recognition. We're going to begin our recognitions in this category with the STEM, STEAM Educator and Administrator of the Year, and these are going to be presented by Michelle, or presented by Michelle Chadwick, our Assistant Director of Advanced Learning and STEM. The STEM, STEAM Educator and Administrator of the Year Award recognizes individuals who have worked to promote these programs. Honorees in this category are being recognized for their facilitation of problem-based learning in their classroom and school through implementation of or support for hands-on experiences which allow students to integrate and apply knowledge and skills learned in other areas. These opportunities have real-world connections which allow for creativity to be nurtured, increasing opportunities for collaboration and problem-solving skills. Our STEM STEAM Educator of the Year is from right here at White Oak High School, Mr. Brandon Dillman. Mr. Dillman is currently the lead for the STEM Academy here at White Oak and the advisor for the Green Team, the Environmental Club. He integrates other content areas and inspires students to see how their knowledge can be applied outside of the classroom. An example of his efforts can be seen through the creation of the first apiary in Ayanslow County School System located here at White Oak. He facilitates student learning around raising honeybees and the impact they have on the environment. Mr. Dillman is also an active participant with Sturgeon City Science Institutes and assists with designing and implementing outdoor education curriculum. So congratulations, Mr. Dillman. And he is joined by our STEM STEAM Administrator of the Year from Heritage Elementary School, Principal Gina Missiano. There she is. Heritage Elementary School Principal Gina Missiano is a champion for STEM as she welcomes learning experiences which stimulate students' critical thinking and reasoning skills. She encourages her teachers to extend their knowledge of STEM through peer collaboration, research-based resources, and professional development opportunities. Mrs. Missiano has been a con consistent leader in the STEM education by influencing teachers and students to engage in on-site real-world science exploration, as well as participation in STEM competitions to showcase their talents, ability, and aptitude. Congratulations. One round of applause for our STEM STEAM educator and administrator. Next, we're going to recognize our math educator and administrator of the year. And to present these awards, we have Vicki Brown, who is our coordinator for K-5 mathematics, and Heather Findison, who is our coordinator for 612 mathematics. The OCS Math Educator of the, of the Year Award is designed to recognize an educator who effectively utilizes the district-wide core curriculum and creates a hands-on, task-rich classroom environment where all students actively engage in real-world problem-solving and meaningful discourse to promote deeper understanding of mathematical content as presented in the North Carolina State Standards. Our Math Educator of the Year is from Somersill Elementary and Rochelle Curley.
And Liz Curley is a fifth grade teacher at Somersill who effectively engages students in the ready math problem solving routine, which promotes active engagement and meaningful student to teacher and student to student discourse. She utilizes high yield instructional strategies within her lessons to allow students to be active participants in the learning process. Ms. Curley continuously seeks out professional growth opportunities to expand her own knowledge and skills in mathematics. Congratulations. Now, the OCS Math Administrator of the Year Award is designed to recognize an administrator who facilitates professional learning opportunities, leads data analysis, promotes the effective and consistent use of district-wide core curriculum by all math educators within the school, and encourages active student engagement, which allows for the needs of all students to be met to maximize academic achievement. Our Math Administrator of the Year is Mr. Curtis Eamon, the principal of Jacksonville Commons Middle School. Jacksonville Commons Middle School was one of the first middle schools to explore ready math for grades six through eight. Mr. Eamon has taken the initiative to fully learn and understand the components of ready and iReady and actively analyzes and utilizes the data from the platform. He holds high expectations for the math educators in his building to utilize the district-wide core curriculum for instructional delivery to increase student achievement. Congratulations, Mr. Eamon. Next, we're going to recognize our Tech Savvy Educator and Administrator of the Year. We'll be joined for that by Mr. Stephen Taylor, who is our Director of Digital Learning and Teaching Services. Yeah. And his, coll his collar's buttoned all the way up, and his tie is like where it needs to be. It's amazing. I, I, I don't know if I've seen you like that lately, Stephen. So you're looking good, man. Looking good. Right. The Tech Savvy Awards recognize teachers and administrators who use digital tools to facilitate great instruction. They make the most of our digital platform to be more effective and efficient, allowing more time to concentrate on developing and delivering engaging instruction. Tech Savvy teachers allow students to practice collaboration, communication, creation, and critical thinking on a regular basis, and they encourage the development of the skills that are prized in a global modern work environment. Tech Savvy Administrators model and facilitate the use of technology to better support their staff, students, and community. Our Tech Savvy Educator of the Year is from Swansboro High School, and it's Jennifer Griffin. <laughs> Jennifer is a science teacher at Swansboro High. She uses many digital tools to help engage and instruct her students. She has won grants for equipment to do experiments, giving students great experiences with direct scientific experimentation. In hybrid instruction, she mastered the use of breakout rooms to keep students engaged in groups even when a participant was not physically present. She has used Minecraft to allow students to visualize and construct, and construct cell models and explore other scientific concepts. She actively uses digital tools to evaluate in unique ways like Flipgrid. She constantly strives to improve her instruction through the active engagement of her students. Congratulations, Ms. Griffin. Our Tech Savvy Administrator of the Year comes to us from the Onslow Virtual Secondary School and its principal, Steve Clark. Now, Steve Clark has guided OBSS's growth and development over the past year and beyond. <laughs> Under his direction, this live class Teams-based virtual school <laughs> has developed new methods for instruction while maintaining a caring culture of student support. Mr. Clark has become very adept at digital observations, online meetings, and other forms of virtual support. He also constantly strives to build a sense of community with outreach to both staff and students. OBSS, under the direction of Steve Clark, is successfully pushing the boundaries of effective, engaging instruction while offering options for the parents and students of Onslow County Schools. Congratulations. So he was so quick to take his selfie that he didn't realize we needed a picture too. Congratulations. 
Dankeschön. Keep looking good there, Stephen. Keep looking good. All right, next, we'd like to recognize our Global Educator and Administrator of the Year. And for that, we're going to ask Dr. Lisa Peel, our Director of Cultural Arts and Global Leadership, to join us on stage. The Global Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards are presented to educators that exemplify a commitment to learning, teaching, and sharing about the cultures, geographies, histories, and current issues of all the world's regions. They emphasize the interconnectedness and diversity of peoples and histories. Our Global Educator of the Year is Diana Reales from Dixon High School. Ms. Reales serves students as a Spanish teacher at DHS, and she is part of our international teacher program, originally from Colombia. She challenges her students daily to step into the world of those from other cultures. Ms. Reales develops students' understanding of other cultures, the history and geography of different countries and people, and the current events faced in various parts of the world. Congratulations. Our Global Administrator of the Year comes from the Clyde Irwin Elementary Magnet School of International Studies and Cultural Arts. Dr. Crystal Howard, principal at Clyde Irwin. Clyde Irwin's principal, Dr. Howard, believes in the power of global education and strives to include this as an essential part of the culture at her school. Dr. Howard is an exemplary model and encourages her school community to embrace, understand, and learn about peoples from other cultures, to include beliefs, values, and traditions. Now we'd like to recognize our avid educator and administrator of the year. And for this presentation, Dr. Michael Elder, our Director of Career and College Readiness is joining us on stage. <laughs> AVID, or Advancement via Individual Determination, is an initiative across Onslow County Schools which closely aligns with the instructional framework. Each year, one administrator and one teacher are selected as the District AVID Educator of the Year. The award recognizes educators who show belief in all students and do the extra to utilize WICOR instructional strategies and AVID mindsets to help students achieve to their greatest potentials. Our AVID Educator of the Year is Lacey Estes from Richlands High School. Ms. Estes was nominated by her administration, colleagues, and staff for her zeal and excitement for all things AVID. Ms. Estes is a national staff developer, developer for AVID and is sought after to lead summer institutes across the country. Her students shared that she knows them and celebrates them for the people they are. They know that she believes in them and is willing to challenge them so that they can be the best version of themselves and access the future they vision for themselves. Congratulations. Our AVID Administrator of the Year comes from Belfort Elementary, and it is Assistant Principal Sandra Adams. I think y'all even got Dr. Williams cheering back there. I think I saw him jumping up and down in the back. Ms. Sandra Adams, Assistant Principal at Belfork, was nominated and selected as the OCS AVID Administrator of the Year for her tireless work to encourage both students and staff to find ways to increase student engagement through WICOR and other AVID celebrations. Mrs. Adams demonstrates high expectations along with support. She is a cheerleader for her teachers who are growing to be the best they can be and has shown the willingness to do what it takes to make a career in college-ready culture the norm at Belfort Elementary. Congratulations, baby. Now we'd like to recognize our Encore and Elective Educator of the Year. And for that award, we are going to go to 
Dr. Lisa Peel again is coming out. Our Director of Cultural Arts and Global Leadership. So the Encore and Electives Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards are presented to individuals that exemplify a commitment to ensuring students have learning opportunities during the school day and beyond across a wide array of disciplines, ranging from physical education to visual arts and orchestra class offerings. Our Encore Electives Educator of the Year is also here from White Oak High School. It is Hillary Goodson Spear. <laughs> Hillary Goodson Spear serves as the Director of Choral Activities at White Oak High School. Mrs. Goodson Spear believes in the power of music education to positively impact a child's academic performance, assist in developing social skills, and provide an outlet for creativity that is crucial to a child's development. She provides opportunities for students to express their talents in the classroom, the community, and beyond. Her exemplary leadership, passion, drive, and commitment serves as a model for all educators. Congratulations. Now our Encore Electives Administrator of the Year is Dr. Helen Gross, the principal at Swansboro High School. <laughs> Swansboro High School principal Dr. Helen Gross believes in the importance of arts education and the impact it has on student success. She works tirelessly with the community to bring a multitude of arts education opportunities to her students. Her commitment to excellence in arts education is to be commended. Congratulations, Dr. Next, we're going to recognize our CTE Educator and Administrator of the Year. And for that, we'd ask Mr. Will Lane, who is our Executive Director of Secondary Education and our Interim Director of Career and Technical Education to join us on stage. <laughs> CTE encompasses a wide range of activities intended to provide students with skills demanded in the labor market while preparing them for post-secondary degrees in technical fields. By integrating academic skills into a real-world context, career and technical education can motivate students to attend school more frequently and be more engaged and therefore improve core academic skills. The CTE Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards recognize individuals who are both strong advocates of CTE and the students they serve. Our CTE Educator of the Year is Ken Brown from Richlands High School. And I'll tell you, this year's CTE Teacher of the Year is passionate about career and technical education. As a drafting teacher at Richlands High, Mr. Brown is known for designing engaging lessons and providing his students with authentic learning opportunities. In addition to his work in the classroom, Mr. Brown also serves as the advisor for the Richlands High School Skills USA team, where he assists students to develop personal, workplace, and technical skills grounded in academics. Later this June, Mr. Brown will be recognized as one of five national finalists for the Skills USA Advisor of the Year Award, and five of his students will compete in the national competition. He is commended, yes. And he is commended for his commitment and dedication to helping students to learn and grow as they pursue their college and career aspirations. Now, our CTE Administrator of the Year, oddly enough, is also from Richlands High School, and that's Mr. Brad Staley. <laughs> I don't say oddly enough, I say for good reason. This year's CTE Administrator of the Year, Richlands Principal Brad Staley, is known for being a tremendous supporter of career and technical education. He has been instrumental in the success and growth of CTE at Richlands High. Under his guidance, Richlands High School has increased both the number of CTE programs being offered and student participation in these programs. He has successfully lobbied for facility and equipment upgrades in an effort to provide authentic and relevant learning experiences. 
Lastly, he is a strong advocate for the career and technical student organizations offered at Richlands High, supporting their efforts to compete at regional, state, and national competitions. Mr. Staley is being recognized for his commitment and dedication to helping students to learn and grow as they pursue their career and college aspirations. Now we'd like to recognize our Literacy Educator and Administrator of the Year. And for that, we've got Dr. Mark Boris, our Executive Director of Elementary Education, and Dr. Kristen Reed, our Director of Literacy. The Literacy Educator and Literacy Administrator of the Year Awards recognize teachers and administrators who exemplify a commitment to high quality, evidence-based literacy instruction for all students. As author Kate DiCamillo says, reading and literacy should not be presented to children as a chore or duty. It should be offered to them as a gift. We would like to congratulate and thank all of our school-level literacy educators of the year for their daily commitment to providing the gift of literacy to our students. Tonight, we recognize a teacher and an administrator whose leadership and actions truly exemplify their commitment to high quality literacy instruction for all. Our Literacy Educator of the Year is Vicki Seeley from Queens Creek Elementary. Now, when faced with a, a new grade level and unexpectedly a new content area and curriculum, Ms. Seeley turned the situation into an amazing opportunity for her students. She remained dedicated to finding ways to engage her students while also supporting their various learning needs in order to nurture successful readers with a passion for lifelong learning. From an operating room full of student surgeons to a Viking ship setting sail on a new voyage, Ms. Seeley's creativity and effort truly made literacy instruction a transformative experience for her students, sparking a joy for reading and learning that will last for years to come. Congratulations. Our Literacy Administrator of the Year is Laurie Strope from Richlands Elementary. This year has been a year of change for literacy instruction at the elementary level with the legislative requirement for Letters PD and the implementation of CKLA. Throughout the year, Ms. Strope has gone above and beyond to support her teachers through this year of literacy firsts, even ensuring 100% success with a complex state-required professional development, which is letters. Her positive attitude and dedication were instrumental in setting expectations and fostering in, or fostered engaging literacy-rich experiences for students in every classroom at her school. Congratulations. Next, we'd like to welcome to the stage Dr. Chris Barnes, our Executive Director of Instructional Support and Exceptional Children, and Francis Turner, our Director of Exceptional Children's Services, to present our Exceptional Children's Educator of the Year Award. Exceptional Children's Educator of the Year recognizes teachers for their dedication to serving students with special needs in the classroom. Exceptional Children's Educators serve students from three years old to graduation in a variety of settings tailored to meet the unique needs of students with disabilities. Our Exceptional Children's Educator of the Year is Amy Ferguson from Carolina Forest Elementary School. Yeah. Amy Ferguson serves Carolina Forest Elementary students from second to fifth grade in the general exceptional children's classroom. Mrs. Ferguson's relationships with her students and families have been imperative to her students' success in the classroom. She teaches her students in all academic areas, as well as working with them to develop their social learning skills. Mrs. Ferguson collaborates with many specialists to facilitate learning for her students. Her focus on data-driven instruction, flexibility in learning, and an emphasis on building positive relationships with students in the classrooms 
are among the most notable strengths. Mrs. Ferguson has been with OCS since 2005, and in addition to her work at Carolina Forest, she has served students at both Parkwood and Morton Elementary Schools. She is a beloved member of her EC team and brings a positive outlook to even the toughest of challenges. And our final uh, honoree in this section for Student Support Educator of the Year, we're going to ask Dr. Brendan Gartner, our Executive Director of Human Resources and Student Services, to join us on stage. <laughs> Ensuring student success in the classroom takes excellent educators and administrators, but it also takes help from our school counselors, nurses, and social workers. The Student Support Educator of the Year is awarded to an individual who has gone above and beyond to help meet our students and teachers' needs outside of the classroom. Our Student Support Educator of the Year is from Morton Elementary, and it's Nurse Nancy Moran. Now, these past few years um, have been like no other for our schools. I think that's an understatement. And few have felt that more than our healthcare professionals, our school nurses. Throughout the pandemic, our nurses have been on the front line, so to speak, and have been caring, selfless, and have worked tirelessly to support our students' health and well-being. No one embodies this more than Nurse Nancy Moran. She cares deeply for her students, and her peers look to her as a knowledgeable and reliable resource. She is the epitome of what school nursing is meant to be. Congratulations. As Dr. Gartner and uh, Nurse Moran leave the stage, I want a, one more round of applause for all of our excellent educators. Now, we've seen a, a student presentation from the elementary age level. We're going to move now to a different level of presentation, and we'll explain why, when she came out to receive her award, uh, Ms. Hillary Goodson Spear came out from the wings rather than coming up from out of the audience because you are going to hear now from the White Oak High School Senior Choir under the direction of the White Oak High School Director of Choral Activities, Mrs. Hillary Goodson-Spear.
So like I said, now you understand why she came out from that side rather than from out in the audience. There we go. So at this time, please join me in welcoming our board chairman, Mr. Bob Williams, our board member, Joseph Speranza, our superintendent, Dr. Barry Collins, and our deputy superintendent, Dr. Beth Folger, back to the stage as we get ready to recognize our Onslow County Schools Teachers of the Year. Now, as they make their way up, I'd like to ask our school level teachers of the year, if you would please make your way over to the side of the auditorium. And when your name is called, we're going to have you come forward and receive a token of appreciation from our district leaders. Now we'll be recognizing our teachers of the year in alphabetical order by school name. Now if we have a teacher of the year, who was unable to be with us this afternoon, but we have an administrative representative who is here. We would like to ask them to come up and receive their teacher's plaque. Now, the process of selecting the district's Teacher of the Year is handled by our OCS Teacher of the Year Committee. This committee includes the previous year's Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year, Principal and Assistant Principal of the Year, a community member, and other district staff, and is headed up by Dr. Beth Folger. The committee reviews portfolios of the educators selected as our school level teachers of the year. They select 10 semifinalists for interviews and then narrow that down to five finalists who have classroom observations. And from this group of five, the committee selects the Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year. The individual selected to be the Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year will go on to represent the district in the regional Teacher of the Year process. So let's meet our 2022-23 Onslow County Schools Teachers of the Year. From Bell Fork Elementary, Morgan Dry. From Blue Creek Elementary, Ebony Brownlee. From Carolina Forest Elementary, Emily Trulove. From Clyde Irwin Elementary, we have Heather Waters. From Dixon Elementary, Beth Martinez. From Dixon Middle, Amanda Guler. From the Eastern North Carolina Regional Skills Center, Ms. Jacqueline Sharp. From Heritage Elementary, Georgiana Bryan. From Hunters Creek Elementary, Lauren King. And from Hunters Creek Middle, Shana Hines. From Jacksonville Commons Middle, Leticia Chapman. From Jacksonville High School, Amy York. Morton Elementary, Katherine Robinson. From Newbridge Middle School, Peggy Polosino.
from Northside High, Melissa Bourgeois. From Northwoods Elementary, Lisa Cherubini. From Northwoods Park Middle School, Heather Shannon. From the Onslow County Learning Center, Twyla Johnson. The Onslow Early College High School, Rebecca Huggins. From Onslow Virtual Elementary School, Paula Forrester. From Onslow Virtual Secondary School, Sarah Edwards. From Parkwood Elementary, Shasta Baker. From Queens Creek Elementary, Felicia Hastead. From Richlands Elementary, Tiffany Melendez. From Sandridge Elementary, Dana Rivera. From Silverdale Elementary, Leilani Akins. From Southwest Elementary, Lindsay Arrington. From Southwest High, Jamie Hall. From Southwest Middle, Curtis Connor. From Stateside Elementary, Megan Batchelor. From Summersill Elementary, Ashlyn Baker. From Swansboro Elementary, Amber Kohler. From Swansboro High School, Barbara Shedd. From Swansboro Middle, Sean Trees. From the Thompson Early Childhood Center, Latoya Hill. From Trexler Middle School, Tara Burgess. And from White Oak High School, Kelly Dillman. And now we'd like to recognize our Onslow County School Teacher of the Year finalists. And we are going to ask our finalists if they will make a row in front of everybody since nobody was really keen on making a second row. Nobody wanted to be in front. I tried to get Heather to do it, she wouldn't go up front. So we're gonna ask our, our, our finalists for Teacher of the Year to come on up. And uh, when your name is called, we're gonna say a little bit about you and have you come on up here into the front. And Laurie is gonna rearrange everybody so we can get a really good picture of the entire group. There we go. Now our first Teacher of the Year finalist is from Coastal Elementary, and it is Alec Aguiar. <laughs> Alec Aguiar is a seven-year physical education teacher who currently teaches at Coastal. He holds a Bachelor of Science in Physical Education from East Carolina University. Mr. Aguiar, who has been with our district for five years, said he feels that a good educator never stops learning 
and has the desire to always better themselves. One of the ways he has tried to be innovative in the classroom is through his work with students with disabilities. To improve access to physical activity and individualized guidance, Mr. Aguiar has dedicated his planning periods to working with exceptional children in a setting more conducive to their growth. Mr. Aguiar said that he believes health is wealth, and it is his passion to help his students feel success and take care of themselves so they can help others along the way. Congratulations, Mr. Aguiar, on being a teacher of your finest. Our next Teacher of the Year finalist comes from the same end of the county, our southern end of the county, from Dixon High School, Ms. Heather Moore. Now, Heather Moore is a National Board Certified Teacher who has been an educator for 25 years. She holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Illinois at Springfield, as well as a master's in reading education from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. For the last eight years, Ms. Moore has taught biology and AVID at Dixon High School. Ms. Moore said that one of her most meaningful experiences at Dixon was helping to define a school culture of positivity and community through the Energy Bus program. She still enjoys using Energy Bus principles in her classroom to instill a positive outlook in her students each day. Our next Teacher of the Year finalist comes from Jacksonville Elementary School, or excuse me, Jacksonville Commons Elementary School. I'm reading too. I got eyes are messing up here. It is Dana Quigg. Now Dana Quigg is a 17-year educator, currently teaches first grade at Jacksonville Commons Elementary, and has been with OCS since 2017. She holds a bachelor's degree in political science from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and a master's in early childhood education from Concordia University. Ms. Quigg is a passionate teacher with a particular love of literacy. She has been a leader in embracing the new CKLA reading curriculum for Onslow County Schools and has found ways to reinvigorate her classroom with new instructional strategies. Beyond the classroom, Ms. Quigg has enjoyed collaborating with her fellow teachers to create a Bus Buddies program at Jacksonville Commons, which pairs younger students with fifth graders, who not only help them find their buses, but also provide valuable mentorship. Our next Teacher of the Year finalist is from Meadowview Elementary and is Kayla Anderson. Now, Kayla is a four-year educator, having started her career with Onslow County Schools in 2018. She holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Creative Writing and a Master's in Elementary Education from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington, and currently teaches third grade at Meadowview Elementary School. Though her first through, or, let me try that again. Though the first four years of her career brought many challenges, Ms. Anderson has maintained positivity and a passion for advocating for students. Ms. Anderson said that she believes in the power of student voices and strives to keep child-centered conversations and child-centered solutions at the forefront of her work in and out of the classroom. Through her work with the Energy Bus program and her instructional strategies, Ms. Anderson has found purpose in advocating for children and is currently pursuing a master's degree in counselor education at East Carolina University. And our final Teacher of the Year finalist is Tiffany Rhodes from Richlands High. <laughs> Tiffany Rhodes is a high school social studies teacher and has dedicated the entirety of her 21-year career to Richlands High School. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in History and a Master's of Education, both from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. As a national beta club sponsor, Ms. Rhodes believes in building leadership skills in her students and has driven the growth of the RHS beta chapter. Through effective communication, student empowerment, and increased service opportunities, she has helped the RHS beta club expand and provide thousands of hours of service to their community. Ms. Rhodes said that student success and positive school culture can be accomplished through building up student leaders and providing access to rigorous and meaningful coursework.
So congratulations to our Teacher of the Year finalists and all our Teachers of the Year. I do want to give fair warning to the audience that when we announce the name of the Teacher of the Year, there's going to be some pops of confetti. They are really probably loud, so if you want to cover ears when that happens, when I say the name, it's going to go, so just be ready. So without further ado, the 2022-2023 Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year is Kayla Anderson. <laughs> Again, congratulations. Sorry, no one else had said anything, so I was like, do we not talk? Um, thank you. I want to say thank you to all these educators because Wow, to be in your presence is such an honor. So may we give them a round of applause. Um, I have to say thank you to God because that is who has saved my soul and brought me to teaching. And to the people who are here today, thank you for lifting me and making me who I am as an educator. Um, I just want to say that we, as teachers, we are tired. We are exhausted, and that is okay. But my God, you are not done. And I hope that you know that you make a difference every single day that you walk into a classroom and that you remember what you are doing there. You may not see the effects. You might not ever even know them you matter and you are doing something so great so do not give up and just keep going with the good fight and just know that we are in good company because we are advocating for people who cannot yet advocate for themselves so keep going and thank you so much and thank you for a wonderful administrator she's sitting in the crowd and my family and friends thank you, thank you. 